Hello and welcome to The Flow! Today on Cycling with Sully, we are comparing the 2021 model years of the Trek Fuel EX5, the Giant Trance 3, and the Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. After you've learned the basics of mountain biking on your trusty entry-level hardtail, sometimes it is time to turn to the next level of mountain bikes. First, let me say that your bike is probably fine just the way it is, but for those who really think their bike is letting them down, these are the right bikes for you. Moving from a hardtail to a full suspension bike is a big move, but if your riding isn't there, your bike won't help much either. These three bikes are the gateway to the wonderful world of full suspension mountain bikes. First, a quick announcement. Recently, Cycling with Sully has hit 300 subscribers! I can't thank each and every one of you enough that has supported the channel. If you are just tuning in, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks, now let's get back to the video. First, we have the Trek Fuel EX5. Starting at $2,099.99, the Trek Fuel EX5 is the cheapest bike out of the three. With Trek's alpha aluminium frame and a choice of 27.5 inch wheels on the small sizes and 29 inch wheels on the medium and larger frame sizes. Let's not forget the minnow link which allows you to change the bike's head tomb angle up to half a degree and the bottom bracket height by 10 millimeters. Moving on to suspension, a RockShox Recon Silver with 140mm of travel will take on the roughest trails, and an X-Fusion Pro 2 comes in the rear with 130mm of travel. The brand new Shimano Diori M6100 drivetrain offers 12 gears to choose from, with a 10 to 51 tooth cassette and a Shimano MT511 one by crank set with a 30 tooth chain ring occupies the front. To match the drivetrain, Shimano MT200 hydraulic brakes paired with 180 millimeter rotors provide enough stopping power for the trails. Lastly, a Trans X dropper post with 100 millimeters of travel on the sizes small and extra small and 130 millimeters of travel on the medium and larger sizes. Second, we have the Giant Trance 29.3. Starting at $2,250, the Giant Trance 3 is the most expensive bike out of the three. Giant uses what they call the Alux aluminum frame construction with their Maestro rear suspension design. All of the sizes run 29 inch wheels with boost spacing. The suspension is an odd mix of everything. In the front, a Marzocchi Z2 air fork with 130mm of travel isn't out of the ordinary, but this changes in the back. A Fox Float DPS performance with 115mm of travel is not what I was expecting, but I guess there isn't anything wrong with that setup either. Similar to the Trek Fuel, the Trance uses the new Shimano 12-speed Diori drivetrain with a 10-51 tooth cassette, but it is not a complete group set due to the Praxis Cadet crank set, not that it affects the bike's performance much anyway. Shimano MT420 and MT410 4-piston hydraulic disc brakes are definitely an improvement compared to the Shimano MT200s found on the Trek Fuel. Last but not least, Giant's contact switch dropper post gets the saddle out of the way when needed. Third, we have the Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. Starting at $2,200, the Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy sits in the middle of the Trek Fuel and Giant Trance, but leaning over to the Trance side. An asymmetrical aluminium frame with a horse pivot bottom bracket adjustment supports the 29 inch wheels. A RockShox 35 Silver with 140 millimeters of travel takes up the front, while the X-Fusion O2 Pro RL provides 130 millimeters of travel in the rear. 
Unlike the track fuel and giant trance, the specialized stump jumper uses a full SRAM SX Eagle 12-speed drivetrain with an 11 to 50 tooth cassette, along with a 30 tooth one by crank set. Braking is done by Tektro Gemini Comp hydraulic disc brakes with a 200 mm rotor in the front and a 180 mm rotor in the back. Lastly, a Transex dropper post of 100 millimeters of travel on the sizes extra small and small, 120 millimeters on the medium, and 150 millimeters on the large and extra large sizes. If I had to choose one of these bikes, I would pick, wait, I have to choose one bike? Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'll, I think I, I can't decide. I'll just pick two bikes now. Wait a minute, how did that get in? Uh, oh well, let's continue. First, let me say that all of these bikes are great, but I think they each fulfill different riders' needs. I wouldn't choose the Giant Trance 3, mainly due to the 115 millimeters of travel in the back. I like the components, especially the four piston Shimano brakes, but I think I need more travel. Now it's a draw between the Trex Fuel EX5 and the Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. These two bikes are so similar. While their components are different, when added up they seem pretty equal. It comes down to per personal preference, really. If you want the RockShox 35 Silver and the SRAM Drivetrain, go with the Stump Jumper Alloy. If you want the RockShox Recon and the Shimano Drivetrain, go with the Trek Fuel EX5. If you found this video helpful, or even just entertaining, please consider subscribing to help cycling with Sully grow.